Okay, today we're gonna try the new Suku eyebrow collection and there are several things that's launched together. I got their 3D control eyebrow and I didn't get the new shade. They are not launching this in a new um, formula. It's just a one new shade additional. And I have tried that new shade, which is 03, and this shade, 01. And this shade matched better with my overall hair color. I think 03 is actually a really needed shade in this shade range, because previously it's 01, which is for cooler and darker hair. And 02 is a warmer but still dark hair. So if you are light haired, light haired, is that a word? If, if your lit hair color is light, is lighter, there isn't a shade for you. So I think the shade extension is really needed, but it's it was just not my shade. I can use it, but it doesn't look great on me. I think if you have, if you want a uh, like. Uh, eyebrow powder for a blonde hair. Um, I think that could do it. And it's not a very cool toned or warm toned color. It's more of like a neutral type of shade, which I think is great. But today we are gonna use 01 because the formula is the same. It's just about the shade. Um, and they have their smooth eyebrow pencil, which I have. Here, they are selling it separately. It's like a cartridge um, situation. So you, you buy the holder and you buy the actual pencil. And there also are two new eyebrow gel formulas. One is the coloring eyebrow, which um, I have tried this at the counter as well. Even the darkest shade is too light for my hair. I think even the darkest shade is more of like for brown hair, like brunette or like if you're brunette but you prefer your eyebrow is like a touch lighter, even the darkest shade is like that. So it's not for me. And I just want something to shape my eyebrow. So I got the other one. It's the setting eyebrow gel. This one is it the, the liquid has some color it's like a very dark color but it's also pretty much clear so it gives really just a small little tint to your eyebrow which for my very peach black eyebrow hairs it's not that visible and it holds your eyebrow in and yeah let's try that let's let's try this together i don't have anything on my eyebrows other than some face powder to set them down. Let's just use this roller to get my hair out of the way. First of all, let's try the powder. I actually almost never use eyebrow pencil, so eyebrow powder is really um, the type of product that I use daily. I'm thinking, do I use the brush here or do I use a separate brush? I guess I can I can try the brush here first because Suku brushes in the compact usually are pretty good. But this one looks different than the previous formula, like, like the formula before this, which they it was like years ago. And I feel like that brush probably worked better than this one because that brush is a dual ended brush just like this and one side of it is the same as that normal brush that they sell but I feel like this one is not this is just an, a very normal brush to be attached to one of these which I, I don't really like that I hope they still do what they did with the previous formula but let's let's just try this there are three shades, right? And I'm gonna skip the swatching on my skin part because I don't think that can tell you anything <laughs> because you're not actually applying on your bare skin, right? You're applying it under your hair. So I think this way, directly apply it on the eyebrow is what actually, you know, gonna tell you anything. When I was at the counter, the shop assistant just blended 
these two colors so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go back and forth and she took a tissue paper and kind of dabbed the brush on the paper and then applied so I just dabbed on my little makeup towel and the brush is actually not bad at all because it's pretty stiff so it has a lot of grape but it's not too thin because a lot of times this type of brush can be thin like a eyeliner brush so it's kind of hard to blend on a large area because my eyebrow is sparse but it has a lot of hairs on like a very wide area like it's thick but it's just sparse so I have a lot of places to fill in and the brush having some thickness is definitely preferred and I think the color look great and it looks very very natural in real life I can't see any color on my eyebrow but my eyebrow is visibly more filled than this side right I really love this and I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this should be your nose shadow or blurring your, like, the, you know, the inner part of your eyebrow. I don't do that, actually. So let's try the nose shadow thing. I don't do nose shadow either, but... Can you see a difference? I kind of can see a little bit. Still don't know if I'm gonna use this shade, but I think it's a great shade. Or if you are a very cool tone hair, but you want the color to be a little bit lighter, I think you can also blend with this color. It's also gonna be just, you know, mixing well with this color and make it lighter. Yeah, I love this. I actually, the last, formula that they had for years they have one of this kind type of this type of like green shade as well and I bought that shade but for some reason that shade didn't work too well for me so I get rid of it and now I think the formula has changed and I really really like this formula and now I'm just taking the darkest shade and fill in the tail a little bit yeah I really really like this have no idea how it looks on the camera but yeah really like it and let's use my own brush on this side and I have like a very big ass brush but I really like this type of super huge brush on my eyebrows and yesterday the brush she used on me was a very big brush as well one of the good thing about this big brush is just it works well with my type of brow like I said it's like very big but it's sparse so I have a lot of areas to fill in and this type of brush just fill in is so natural and even and quick okay it worked nicely as well, but I feel like my tail is too long. I'm gonna trim it a little bit. Okay. My eyebrow hair is just so incredibly, incredibly long. Like I, you sometimes I think about those like elder characters in the like some Chinese dramas or some fairy tales elder characters with like a very long eyebrow hairs dripping down and it means you are living a long life <laughs> I don't know that's that's what it what it means in some Chinese um, fairy tales it means you live a long time if you're I guess it's just because if you're older your eyebrow hair get longer and drip a little bit more I, I don't know <laughs> but actually the my brush worked well 
as well, but I almost feel like I prefer this little brush because I think it's, I don't know, it's thick enough, but it also has some precision. Oh, I'm shocked that I actually like this brush. But usually I feel like the tools Suku give in very compact is is usually useful. It's not like a very shitty little brush that they just randomly throw in there. They don't really do that. Yeah, I really love this. And a little of this no shadow that I don't even know if they if it does anything. I really I really love this formula. I think for eyebrow powder, it's actually pretty hard to find a perfect formula. First of all, it can be too much fallout because you don't want to, first of all, create a very hard to blend, like very dark spot on your eyebrow. But if it's too powdery, I find sometimes it can be, you know, very hard to blend because like a chunk of product will come out. But this is not, there isn't a lot of kick off as at all, right? But it's at the same time, it's easy to get product on the brush and it's like a right amount of product, which is impressive. And also the color, you, you don't want the color to be too pigmented. Again, it, if it's too pigmented, it's not gonna be doing well. Um, to like it's gonna not gonna be easy to blend and it's easy to be too harsh right off the bat But if it's not pigmented enough sometimes it can just look patchy not because the formula is hard to blend But it's more like it's not dark enough to mimic your natural hair so therefore if you are filling the gaps on your eyebrows if you, it's not deep enough to mimic your hair, it just look patchy, even though it might not actually be. I hope what I just said makes sense, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I think this is just a perfect pigmentation and a perfect formula, personally, for me. And it feels in my eyebrow very well. And normally I would just stop here, but I also got an eyebrow pencil, so let's just try the pencil. And this is the cartridge, I think. And there should be a holder. Or is it? Oh, this, this is the cartridge and this is the holder. And you just screw it in and that's it. It's like very easy. This is out and here it is in. And I got the shade. 05 is uh, again the darkest shade. It's like a gray with a touch of brown. I mean, it's. You can see it's not super pigmented, which I, pref I prefer. I don't like super creamy ones. It's just the, the lines are too harsh. Um, and I really like this is a brown ish gray it's not pure gray because sometimes if it's pure gray it can almost look like too blueish on your eyebrow if that makes sense but yeah the, i i tried a couple shades and this shade is the best for me and i'll try on my eyebrow as well and i don't know if you can tell i think this one it's the best for black hair and it, the shade really mimics my my hair personally and it's just the right formula it's not too pigmented and not too creamy i really like this and today i didn't put on any eyeliner because i want to use this as eyeliner because recently Weirdly enough, but I really love to use eyebrow pencil as eyeliner. I feel like that way It's very natural because it actually mimics the color of my hair 
it's not too harsh because it's not too pigmented but it, at the same time it adds some depth which I really like and uh, let's just let's just do that And usually with the tail, I blend it a little bit with my finger so it's more natural. And I just add a, like a touch, a touch on the lower lash line. I mean, that's it. And I think you already can see the difference. This one is still a natural look, but it just adds some depth. But you can't really tell it that much if like I'm just covering this eye. Because it's like very natural, it's not actually an eyeliner. And this is actually creamier than the one that I was using. Or maybe because this is just newer. The one I was using is more than like 5-6 years old. Maybe I shouldn't use that eyebrow pencil, but my eyes are fine as of right now. But yeah, I really love this formula. And you can purchase refills for a cheaper price I mean it's not all that cheap but yeah at least for a cheaper price that's how it looks as eyeliners I really love this I, I already know I love this I already <laughs> tried it at the counter and now the last one the eyebrow gel this is the again the setting eyebrow gel and let me show you the brush it's actually a pretty big brush but I don't really care I my my eyebrow is big so and this is the liquid can you tell it's like a pretty sheer liquid and there's no fiber in this formula let me get even closer so why I wanted to try this is because even though my eyebrow looks fine in real life but sometimes on the camera it looks weird it looks the all the hair is falls, like um, falling like downward and the actual eyebrow products like eyebrow powders look separated than the hair it doesn't really look like that in real life for some reason it's just camera doing its weird thing so I just want to get one of these setting gels to set my hair in place and make it like basically higher and i really hate eyebrow gels that make your eyebrow like thick looks like feels heavy and this eyebrow gel is actually very very lightweight can you even see the difference i feel like the hair on this side just look more defined than this side this side is kind of blended with the what the, the like the shades under and this side is like you can see the hair strands more i think there's i don't hate this side either like i don't have any problem with the hairs blending with its back background but it's it's actually pretty um nice to have this finish as well and it's not like my other eyebrow, eyebrow gels that I have tried in the past that... I don't know. When it's too pigmented, a lot of times it just makes my eyebrow look uneven. Maybe I'm just not um, very used to use it, so I'm like just bad at it. <laughs> but yeah, I never had one that I fully loved. But this one I really like because... I guess it's because it doesn't really have that much color so there's no way that i can make it uneven and i think it sets my hair pretty nicely but one thing is i can't say that this has wonderful holding power because my hair is naturally pretty stiff it's not facing super downward so it doesn't really need that much of holding power it's already sticking up it just needs a tiny little more help to like be like more uplifted 
so yeah, I really love this, but I can't say this is like, you know, for people like want super strong holding power. I can't say this is like gonna do it for you or not. Yeah, but I just, I loved everything. I actually tried every single product that they have launched, like eyebrow wise. Um, and these three are the three that I choose. I already know I got, I'm gonna love them because yeah, I love them at the counter. That's why I got them. By the way, I tried the highlighters as well. And I think they are pretty, but I didn't get them because I, I, just, pick, I just don't picture that I use them a lot. And I, for some reason, don't really like to buy limited edition products. So yeah, I didn't get those, but yeah, for the three eyebrow products I got, I like them a lot. The next time I actually want to get some of their like eyeliners or mascaras and stuff because I heard their mascara is also great. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe next time there's something new that they come out that I am interested, I might get their mascaras and stuff together. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this is helpful. See you the next time. Bye.